It is every parent's worst nightmare. Your child complains of a pain in his leg. You believe it to be a pulled muscle or maybe growing pains. But what it turns out to be is far worse. I was having pains in my right lower leg, like, and I couldn't sleep at night. But well, first, I thought it was just like from basketball or running too much, you know. And then next thing you know, it started swelling up. So then I just thought I should go to the doctor, see what was wrong with it. Jamel's mother took him to a nearby Henry Ford Medical Center where they discovered the enormous mass on his fibula or leg bone. He was referred to Henry Ford Medical Group Department of Orthopedic Surgery Chairman Dr. Ted Parsons. Jamel presented to one of our clinics with pain in his leg which was persistent and wouldn't go away and granted he probably had ignored it for many months. Uh, he had a radiograph which showed an enlarging destructive lesion in his fibula which is the small bone in the side of his leg uh, between the knee and the ankle. Um, and when the physician that saw him saw that radiograph he knew something bad was going on and called me immediately. The tumor was still pretty good size. It, by inches, I guess it would be 10 inches, 12 inches of his bone. So that whole segment of his fibula was involved. So this is his involved bone. His fibula is uh, where he has the tumor. It's a smaller bone on the side of the leg. And you can see the normal bone has this sort of gray appearance in the middle. That's the inside of the hollow tube, or what we call the medullary canal. On the end of his fibula, you can see that it's sort of normal down here, but it's not in this area at all. Look how the bone is enlarged. This is because the tumor was growing inside the bone, and as the tumor came and burst out through the bone, it caused all this bone to react. To help kill the cancer, Jamel will receive multiple rounds of chemotherapy. This will occur before the surgery that will remove much of his leg bone. After this surgery, he'll receive more rounds of chemotherapy to further ensure the cancer is gone. His medical oncologist is Dr. Sheila Tejwani. How was the last chemotherapy? Pretty good. Pretty good? You know, of course, he's a young man. He's 17, 18 year old. He has good bone marrow, he has good heart, he has good kidneys. That's important to start when we are talking about chemo. So after chemotherapy, we had to during and after chemo, he had to have some injections to bring his white count and hemoglobin up, red blood cell count up, so that we can keep the chemotherapy on time and we can also preserve his bone marrow for later on when he goes through surgery. And that was successfully done. Can you believe that's the from high He's smiling all the time. That makes us always uh, feel, is he understanding everything? Does he have the grasp of what's going on? But he seems to. So I think just continuously talking to them, and we do tell them to go for some support groups, but he really has not required because of uh, family's help. We saw how strong he was holding up and everything. We knew that we had to be strong too. So it was all about, okay, so now we know, so where do we go from here? With the first sessions of chemotherapy complete, Jamal is ready for surgery. The nurse coordinator for orthopedic oncology is Irene Green. She will oversee and coordinate his entire care from chemotherapy through surgery. Don't worry about anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> Jamal was quite nervous, but he felt comfortable that he was in good hands. You have to have a good, positive attitude. Um, the mental, the physical, and the emotional all go together. It, it all helps to heal and to uh, get better. Unlike Don's surgery, Jamel will not need a replacement bone. Once the bone and tumor are removed, his other leg bone will be able to compensate for the missing fibula enabling him to return to normal activities. But his surgeons, Dr. Parsons and Mott, still must be careful not to harm the nerves that surround Jamal's leg bone. Doing so could cause permanent disability. 
I usually don't sleep well the night before, frankly, because I'm mulling over my mind what I'm going to do, and I'm anxious about it. The, uh, the, best, the best feeling is when you're done and it seems to have gone well. Of course, the ultimate test is when they come back and see you five years later in clinic, and they're complaining of the little scar, and they say, you know, this it doesn't look the way I want it to, and I'm thinking, do you remember when you were worried about dying? As final surgical preparations are made, one final pause for safety before beginning the surgery that may save Jamal's life. So this is a critical pause. Okay, we have Jamal Davis here for resection of the right fibula tumor. We have... One of the biggest concerns we have as surgeons is to make sure we're doing the right operation on the right patient at the right location. Uh, here at Henry Ford, uh, we do a great job at uh, conducting what we call a timeout. Patient's on the table, where everyone's prepared for surgery. The nurse says, look, we need to have a final time out. Gets everyone's attention, surgeon, anesthesiologist, the nurse, the assistants, everyone in the room, and, and basically says, this is the patient's name, this is the site, this is the diagnosis, antibiotics have been given, and goes down a, the list of things in preparation for the surgery. Uh, and everyone says, yes, we agree, or no, wait a second, there's a problem here, something's been missed. Okay, anesthesia, we ca okay to start? Yes, we're ready. Starting. Starting. So we've just uh, identified the nerve, just initially. Now we've got a lot of dissection to do to get it out so that we're comfortable where it is. But uh... Once we actually got the muscle tissues uh, exposed and off, leaving a cuff of normal muscle on the tumor and on the fibula, it was a question of carefully sliding out the fibula underneath this nerve which wraps around it so we don't disrupt the nerve and then uh, cutting the bone far enough down towards his ankle to make certain we had a good margin. There it is. On my closest spot is right there. But we, uh, yeah. Okay. So there the tumor's out. What you have remaining here is his uh, perineal nerve coming into his lateral compartment still. Still appears to be intact. As they close the wound, the important news about the cancer comes from pathology. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Keep washing, Vish. That's Ted Parsons. Uh-huh. So the pathologist just called, looked at the, at the specimen we took from the fibula that remains in his bone right here, or in his body, rather. That's what we stabilized with a little screw. And it has no tumor in it uh, histologically. So it means microscopically we're past the tumor in his bone where we took it out, which is what we want to be. Obviously, we want to get all the tumor out. So at this point, what we're going to do is dr wash this out, dry it up real well, look at the vessels which we've been dancing on the whole time, make sure that we clean them up, and uh, we'll let the tourniquet down, make sure we have the bleeding under control, and then we're just going to close. With the bone and tumor safely removed, Dr. Parsons will talk to the family. Okay, so he's doing okay. We didn't have, we didn't have too much blood loss, and... Uh, it's always difficult to get the fibula out, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that bad, <laughs> all things considered. What questions do you have of me? You, you think, every, because of the way everything went, that he will be able to, you know, walk. Oh, he'll definitely With, be able to walk. Okay, yes. He'll definitely That's be able to walk. That's what I told you. Now, now, running in sports is something else again, but I, like I told you before, he'll have some weakness there, but he'll, he'll be functional. He should okay. be functional. Yes. <laughs> so the, the real question will be the pathologist, what the pathologist has to say, you know, if he's unhappy with me or if he's happy with me or you know, what the chemo did or not. But, well, okay, we're so, happy with you, too. Well, yes, we are, <laughs> definitely. When we come back, a young surgeon tells his own bone cancer story, and we'll see the recoveries of both patients. To learn more about Henry Ford Medical Group's orthopedic expertise, go to henryford.com. You can also make an appointment.